Okay, so we're doing an initiative in our community in collaboration with the recycling partners and we're going to be cleaning up the mangroves in Port Royal over at Port Henderson and also Raytown. So, this is just a bit of what we do in Port Royal at times for our community. We love fishing. So I'm here with Candy, and she's um, a part of the marketing and CR manager for our recycling partners at Jamaica. Awesome, and today we're doing a beach cleanup in Port Royal and uh, Port Henderson, Raytown, yes, and Sargani in Raytown. The recycling programs and initiatives that we put in place um, for communities, they are able to give us a call at 948-7381 for us to determine what size bin or cages we can provide to communities or establishments so they can set up their own recycling entities. So it makes the process easier. On our Twitter and Facebook pages, Instagram, at RecyclingJA, we have information on where across the country persons can actually take their plastic bottles to have recycled. And RPJ only collects PET, which is number one, and HEPE plastics, number two. Yeah. Recycling plastic bottles so we don't have to do this so often. <laughs> Yeah. Here we are on our way to Raytown. I went in the boat that was going to Raytown, so we're going to be picking up some plastic that is on the beach there.
Recycling plastic is really important because it affects marine wildlife such as seabirds, whale, fishes and turtles. They mistake plastic waste for prey and most die of starvation because their stomachs are filled with plastic debris. So now we're on our way into the mangroves. The team from Port Henderson already did their thing, so we're going into the mangroves to see what's up. Also a part of the initiative today is the Port Royal Fishermen's Group. They provided the boats and also some of the manpower to remove the plastic from our beach. Plastic waste kills up to a million seabirds a year. Many seabirds are found dead with their stomachs full of plastic waste. One of the most horrible elements of plastic pollution is that plastic take thousands of years to decay. So as a result, fish and wildlife are becoming intoxicated. And then when we don't have any fish, we don't have any fish to eat. Oh no! And also if we do get the fish to eat, then the toxins from the plastics affect us human beings. Microplastics that enter the human body via direct exposure through ingestion or inhalation, it can lead to an array of health impacts. That includes inflammation, genotoxicity, oxidative stress, apoptosis, and necrosis, which are linked to um, a lot of negative health outcomes, including cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Another disadvantage is that plastic littering or any littering at all is just not cool. It's just not cool. The ride to the mangroves was awesome and when we got there it was even more beautiful. There was so much plastic, so much rubbish, and we had been working from morning, morning, and there was still more, but we did the best we could. We're about to go into 
Marine litter is not only ugly, it harms ocean ecosystems, wildlife, and humans. It can affect coral reefs and bottom dwelling species and entangle or drown ocean wildlife. So after all that work, we were finally on our way back to place our garbage on the trucks provided by the recycling partners of Jamaica to be on their way out and not in the ocean or on our beaches. It's estimated that up to 13 million metric tons of plastic ends up in the ocean each year and that's the equivalent of a rubbish or a garbage truck load. All the plastic bottles they took from the mangroves, they went over to Port Henderson and also to Grey Town. It's Zimmy, and we're back. So, we're encouraging everyone, you know, just dispose of your plastic properly so that we don't have to have this much of an issue with the plastic, you know. It affects the livelihood, it affects um, the vegetation and everything. So, we want to keep it clean. So, today was fun and dirty, you know. But it was 